What's up, everybody? This is David, a.k.a. The Jumbo Bunny, bringing you some Destiny multiplayer today. I'm really starting to get into Destiny. I, I picked it up, of course, first day. I was really stoked about it if you listened to my uh, Destiny Eve video and, and you heard me kind of gushing over it and everything. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm thinking of the game. Now, I'm going to split this into two different segments because I really feel like they deserve two different takes. When you talk about going with the multiplayer versus the single player because i really think that's two different beasts so we're going to discuss that in two different segments the the single player we're actually going to talk about on probably another video because we won't have the time in this so i wanted to give my kind of early impressions and i will still say early impressions because i've only had really maybe a couple of nights of, of really hardcore crucible gameplay uh, under my belt. So I figure that I'm at least qualified to give my early impressions. So far, I like it. That's a, that is really all I can say at this point because I'm still kind of learning the ropes. Of course, people are going to watch this and, you know, that are already Destiny pros. They're going to look at this and go, oh, he's using the pulse rifle. Yes, I love this. I love this pulse rifle. However, I, I typically am going to be using uh, an uh, auto rifle for Crucible gameplay. Until they, they do something, I think that the, uh, until they do something, maybe patching or something, I, I think that the, the pulse rifles, unless your aim is just rock solid, I feel like the pulse rifles are still going to be, a, a, you know, put you at a detriment uh, playing. Although I do pretty well in this game, I, I, I pretty much go, I think it's uh, 24 and 7 or something. So I did pretty well, and I, I get a couple of uh, nice, little, nice little cracks off with this uh, pulse rifle. So... One of the things that I wanted to always talk about is the, the control. And that's one of the first things, like I said, first thing I want to talk about is the control. When you are looking at this, comparing it to, ooh, nice little double there. If you're looking at this compared to, say, Call of Duty, and, and I know people are going to go, oh, it's a different game, it's a different game, they're not the same. Well, I understand that, and, I, and I, I really think that is a valid statement. However, that is my frame of reference, and that's what I'm coming into this really thinking about, is the... The controls feel clunky. Like the look controls, I had to, from the default, I had to do a lot of work to uh, to really lessen the effect of like the way that it moved around. It seemed like it wasn't very responsive when you were trying to look around and things, so I had to really change I had to really change the, like the uh, the control settings and the, the sensitivities because I wasn't it wasn't helping me out and I wasn't doing very well so I really had to jack them up and on top of that I just still feel like even with the control setting the way they are if you're looking straight ahead and you're just doing your crosshair around you know trying to aim and stuff that's fine but when you try to actually like turn around or 360 or turn on somebody it still feels really laggy. I don't know if I, I'm describing it properly, and I, I'm wondering if anybody else has, has kind of experienced that too. And, and that can be frustrating. There's not a lot of turning on fools in this game. You you really have to kind of plan out your your strategy and uh, and whatnot to to really make that happen. And look at this. I, I, one of the things that I, that looking at this uh, gameplay really reminds me of also is there seems to be a little bit of lag and, and it's not just me it's not something that's just wrong with my connection or anything like that it really does seem to be that there is a delay because when you shoot somebody there are times where the you're, you're I mean you're just wasting them but they're not dropping it and you can barely notice that their their hit uh, their, their little health bar is moving well that's weird and then all of a sudden you look at them and the health bar is now super low it doesn't happen automatically, and this this brings up a really big problem in my eyes with this game. It seems as though there's some netcode issues. I'm not a, I'm not a coder, I'm not a programmer, nor am I a game developer, but it does feel like you trade kills a lot. Now, what happens a lot of times, especially when you're in close quarters combat, is somebody jumps in your face and you just start wailing away and you start to do your melee. Lots of times, many, many, many times, and you're going to see this. If you play this a lot, you're going to experience it. You're going to melee somebody noticeably. On your screen, noticeably, you have meleeed them first by at least half a second. You see them die 
But at the same time, like I said, about a half a second, maybe a little bit less later, you hear the crunch of their melee. But remember, they're already dead. Why are you now hearing, after they're already dead, now why are you now hearing that crunch of the melee? And then, of course, you die. So you trade kills. Ooh, look at that quick scope. Uh, I don't, I don't use, I don't use the uh, sniper rifle a lot in Crucible. It's just a little tough for me right now. Uh, I, as a matter of fact, I switch over to the shotgun uh, about midway through. Now, and, and so the the lag on that is is noticeable to me personally. And whenever you are talking about you know these split second encounters and split second engagements, that's all you have. And if you've got this weird delay taking place, it can be a little frustrating. So moving on, we can talk a little bit about. The, for, for me, one of the big things that I see, especially when trying to do a game type like, I don't know, like the free-for-all, like the, the, the rumble, it, I, I've noticed that that, well, one, it can be, that can be really, really frustrating. And I play lots of free-for-all on Call of Duty and, and things, and I've never been so frustrated by a free-for-all type, uh, game type in a game that I have with this. It... It takes so long. the The health system, you know, you've got so much health, and then you've got, you've got your your shield, and it takes so long to kill someone that never it never fails. You're in the middle of engaging somebody, and of course you're working on them and working on them and working on them. It takes for a, a pulse rifle, it takes quite a bit, and even with an auto rifle, it takes a little bit. The shotguns are the only thing that I've found, and the sniper rifles where you can really one hit kill anybody. Um, you really have issues with, you, you start to work on the guy and invariably or inevitably another person shows up and while you're working on that guy, the person that shows up, the third person in the engagement can engage you and you have no chance. And then of course, what it, what ends up happening, happening a lot is they kill you and then they turn around and kill the person you were just working on, so they get a double out of it. That's what free-for-all has been for me, and it can be kind of frustrating. Now, I, I, I say a lot of really negative things, but so far, I, I am really enjoying Destiny. I've found that it, too, in the multiplayer aspect, it is so enjoyable playing with friends. I've got a, a good group of guys, better hide or die guys, and uh, we, we play a lot together. And we have a lot of fun playing multiplayer. I actually enjoy the the team death, the six v six team deathmatch, and and control the the domination type uh, on this this game to be incredibly fun. And when you've got some some buddies with you, it it does it makes it really really enjoyable. And I I, I can't recommend that enough for people that are trying to find a niche with this game. Now, I, like I said, I, I I really do enjoy playing with friends. The visuals, I think, look great. I, I really do enjoy the visuals, even in the multiplayer, because sometimes the multiplayers are not quite as fleshed out as the single player. I really do feel like the, the single player does that right. It looks great. The sounds on it are very clean, very crisp. It sounds great. The, the weapons, so far, I, I kind of would like a little more variation, maybe a little bit of balancing, like I said, with the, the pulse rifles. But overall, I, I think that they've done a pretty good job of letting people kind of find where their sweet spot is, which is what I, I enjoy about, you know, kind of learning a game and, and, and really putting some time in and learning what works for you, what doesn't work for you. So that, those are some things I, I really do enjoy. Now, ooh, oh, see, I ended up picking quite a few kills. This is the one thing about the, the control uh, game type is that you're able to to really kind of snipe out people on the on the flag and that that's that's something you, if you've got a super and you're ready to go oh man that is, that is a satisfying feeling clearing a flag with a with a super so this is going to wrap it up for me i hope you have enjoyed it everybody if you like this video please leave a like subscribe to me and we will be putting out more content coming up so for now this is your boy jumbo bunny with my destiny multiplayer take Peace out, everybody.